Good morning guys, I am in the chaotic top floor still. We've still got protector everywhere because we are finishing off this hallway. But anyway, I've got to be quick this morning because I am going to an appointment for my brows and I thought that I'd show you a before. As a girl that gets no beauty stuff done, I thought I'd take you along on some of the stuff that I'm getting done before the wedding. Am I panicked? Yes. Am I talking quickly? Probably yes. I am so nervous for this. So I'm going to get my brows basically microbated, like permanent makeup. And I love my brows, so I'm a bit nervous because these are my natural brows with nothing on them and they're not pad. So part of me this morning's woken up like, why am I doing this? <laughs> It's obviously, I'm, I'm just nervous, but I've wanted to try it for a while to just perfect them, get them totally even, and so that I don't have to do much to them in the morning. I do fill them in. I've got like a little gap up here, um, and just basically filling that little gap. It's not great because my hair is far too light at the moment, and I'm actually getting that darkened next week, um, but we're going to be going with my natural brow colour and my natural hair colour. So, yeah. I also wanted to tell you because... It is going to be exceedingly dark and they look worse before they get better so this video is going to be like the worst of my brows anyway fun don't think i'll take you along but i will show you the after hopefully not in tears <laughs> i love them i think that i don't know if you can kind of see the strokes there you might be able to tell very natural very fluffy very soft she listened to exactly what i wanted i don't think that they look that different apart from the fact that right now they are just a little bit darker but generally they're not even like they're not even that dark they're not that bad like you can see my natural hair color there so yes didn't need to have a sleepless night worrying i mean i know she like her work is amazing um i stalked her instagram page that's why i decided to go with her but you always have that fear of what if <laughs> um but yeah really really like them so they potentially obviously everybody's different so what I've had is um, basically like a tattoo, which sounds really scary. It doesn't last as long as a normal tattoo day. It lasts 12 to 24 months. So it is quite a commitment. And so it's like a needle etching ink onto your skin. And she also did something um, which she called powder, which I did ask. It's not a powder, but it's just the technique that they call it. And it just like fills the brows a little bit slightly too. So this will be my brows naturally, and I won't have to do anything to them but they potentially will scab off and they will get lighter and then darker and then they go a bit back and forth until they settle on their actual colour. So the colour should be a little bit lighter than this, but we'll see. She did say that some people sometimes it doesn't, um, just depending on the skin. And I didn't bleed at all during it, so she said that I hopefully won't have much scabbing. Fingers crossed. I'll keep you updated. That was a bit of a weird intro to this video, but I think I'm gonna pick you up again tomorrow because today I'm just having a bit of a boring admin day to show you some new pieces that I've got in. So I'll see you then. Also very aware that I was talking with the camera very close to me then but I wanted to show the brows. The brows are definitely darker this morning but I'm trusting the process and I'm still really pleased with them. Yeah they look slightly better with makeup on though but I have just come upstairs to open up a net porter delivery. I say that like I didn't know that it was here I obviously ordered it and I have been picking up some things for the summer despite the fact that here in England we're not really having a summer like raining every day and pretty miserable we have something planned for this summer which is so nice obviously we have our wedding and we have our honeymoon and that whole little period is going to be about two weeks abroad and I cannot wait so I wanted to pick up some new things, especially because the last few years I haven't really been buying much as far as summer clothes because we've been inside and we haven't been going anywhere. And I always feel mo more motivated to buy things when we're going somewhere. So anyway, this first one isn't really for holidays, but such a practical buy. My Veja trainers, oh, I must have bought them a good few years ago now and I absolutely love them. Now actually for Ollie's birthday, we were in London and I convinced him to get these, knowing that I wanted them myself, the Velcro ones. I mean, so practical, so easy, probably not as easy to wear with dresses, but they are exactly the same as my lace up ones, literally same color on the back and side as well, really neutral and plain. I wear these all of the time, all of the time. 
uh, my whole hen do weekend I wore them. Every day here, when I'm popping out, like grocery shopping or anything like that, I wear them with every single outfit this time of year when it's not quite, it's definitely not hot enough for sandals here yet. And it certainly wasn't for my hen do in May. So I know I will just get a huge amount of wear out of these. In fact, I was gonna say I don't need to try them on, but I'll show you what they look like. And I am all for the lazy belt crochet. <laughs> this is a really great way to show you, but you can kind of see they're exactly the same as my other ones. I will wear them. Probably not as easy to wear with dresses, but I'll still wear them with dresses. You can pick the bridesmaids dresses just there. I'll be showing you those in a video soon. I'll be doing a big, a bit, maybe not a big, big, but more of a wedding update again soon. So then what I actually needed to get shoe wise is sandals. I struggle with sandals. I know the chunky sandals are really popular, but I find those difficult because I wear a lot of dresses and I like a more feminine shoe. I think I said to you guys years ago, I had this sandal from Aldo, which was like a nudie pink, um, kind of like a lace up Grecian one that I loved. I just lived in them, but I wore them to death and I can't even wear them anymore. So I've been on the hunt every year since and this company, Ancient Greek Sandals, have been on my list to try but they're a little bit more of the premium side. Obviously they're from Netta Porter. But I just thought I can't find them so I'm going to give them a go. And they are exactly the same colour, that like nudie colour which I find really flattering because it just like elongates the leg when you're in a dress. And these I find depending on the shoe and depending on the brand, I find they actually are quite supportive with me and they do stay on my foot. So I'm interested to give those a try. Maybe I'll properly try those on though. Sorry, the weather is, it's going darker and lighter. I just don't know what's going on out there. And then, this one's a bit different. I'm living all my childhood dreams here. I got a jelly shoe, not just any jelly shoe. This one has glitter. Little, little glittery bits. Same company, but I was looking for a pool shoe, something that I could wear down to the pool that wasn't leather, wear back, get a bit wet, potentially even wear to a beach a little bit. These, I'm gonna be honest, are on the premium side for what they are. There's not a lot to them, and they were 80 pounds. So I'm a little bit skeptical about these. I do like that they're quite soft and movable, which is quite nice for the foot, but, are they worth it? And this is what I mean about our British summer. Excuse the dramatic sound of the rain. But I have them on. I, I'm a bit torn. I'm not sure whether I love them or not. Partly because, you can see, I have got a gap between my big toe and my next toe. I, I mean, it's not, it's not like a thing that I hate. But I think sandals that have a little um, section here look a little bit more flattering on my feet. Really do like them though. They are kind of exactly what I was looking for. And I think they'd be perfect with dresses. I might have another look at their sandals generally and just see if they have any that have something over the front there. Yeah, other than that though, lovely, delicate, and they do stay on your feet pretty well. I've just got a little bow there at the back. I actually really like these um, they're very <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to do there but they're very like um fitted to the foot so although they're probably not like that supportive on the sole they are lovely and bendable it's kind of like you're not really wearing a shoe the only thing I mean I'm hoping that one of you might have these shoes and you can tell me I'm a bit worried that the structure of the shoe depends on this bit here and I'm worried that they might not last because you've got to put your foot to put them on you've got to put your foot through this bit sorry feet just really aren't the prettiest thing to look at but yeah I, i'm a bit worried that that isn't going to stay or it's going to loosen and then i literally won't be able to wear them but i quite like that it almost looks like you're not really wearing anything i always think that's quite flattering this might be a bit distracting with me and the tripod in the background there but I feel like you need to see these in the light and I'm trying to grasp as much from the window as I can. We finally booked our honeymoon. We finally decided on it. And so I'm kind of like picking outfits that go with where we're going. 
And I feel like I should just tell you because there's no secret really. We're getting married, as you guys know, in Italy, Lake Como. And then we are doing a little bit of road trip like we had hoped. We're going, we're kind of like getting married in the middle of the lake. And then we're going to the end of the lake the day after. So we kind of like leave all our guests and don't start our honeymoon with them. No offense guys, love you, but <laughs> it'll be time for our honeymoon. And then on after that, we're going through Florence to Tuscany. And Tuscany is where we're gonna be spending the majority of our time. And then we're also having a few days in Rome. I think it's probably about two nights in Rome. So not a huge amount of time. We're not gonna be able to fit everything in, but we are flying back from Rome rather than traveling all the way back up to Milan. So we thought, well, we might as well pop in. I've actually never been to Rome. So we might as well pop in at least for one full day. Anyway, so I'm looking for that like Tuscan Italy vibes. I saw this dress particularly um, and it's why I kind of went for a few more premium dresses. I've been trying to find a dress for the night before and the day after, kind of like for those occasions around our wedding and I saw this one, it wasn't really right, I wanted to feel a little bit more bridal but I just loved it so much and I was like well I gotta get it and I'm so glad because I love it. It's this lovely gingham green, it's from Faithful the brand and it is so, so flattering. So bearing in mind, I actually don't have a bra on it because it has a lovely open back. I don't mind these dresses without a bra. My cup is a double D, so it's not as though I don't have boobs to be able to not wear a bra, but I feel like I'm quite supported when I have a band around my waist here and this V-neck is semi-tight. I just feel supported. <laughs> and this part is really flattering. Puff sleeve, my absolute dream. You guys know I love them. And then it's also really lovely because it ties here at the top. So it keeps the shoulders in, but it also ties you in here at the waist. Cause I was wondering, this is a size small for reference. And it di did have a little bit of space, not too much, but I probably could go down a size. However, with the waistband, I think it's better that I keep this size and have that comfort of like a hot summer's day not being too tight. Then, hopefully, can you see the full length of it? It's quite long, it's a midi dress. Back. I think it's so flattering. It's one of my favorite kind of shapes and styles as dresses goes, so I'm definitely keeping this one. This dress I seriously considered for the night before our wedding for the little pizza party but I ended up not going for it for the reason that I'm holding my hands in front here because it has got the most stunning, stunning back. I just love that. I think it fits beautifully around the waist. I think it's really flattering how it kind of like pulls in here, but I honestly can't wear a bra with it and you can definitely see too much. And so to be able to wear it, I think I would have to be wearing some kind of tape. If you guys know any tape that is really good, let me know. Just so that I didn't feel so conscious, but I think I didn't want to feel conscious anyway. So I thought I just, just won't go for it as a dress. But let me show you because I am now considering it for honeymoon. I love this little bit of lace here. And this skirt is basically in the back, probably the main reason why I love it so much. It is quite long in length. It's much more like a maxi than a midi. It goes right to my ankle and I'm five foot six for reference. I just think it was so pretty. But you have to be confident. Now I think I would be fine wearing this on honeymoon. I just don't know if I would be fine being center of attention with a lot of photos and videos being taken and all of my friends and family right there, you know. You know when you're just more of a centre of attention when you're a bride, so oh, so I imagine, not that I want to be. Yeah. Do I keep? Do I get some tape? Do I just not worry about it? I'm not even really sure. Can you see them? I'm not sure. For perspective, I have been picking up these clothes for quite a few months now, and unfortunately, I've just put this one on, and I love it, but I don't know whether I've actually lost a little bit of weight since I bought it, or I kept it whilst it was quite big. I'm not quite sure. Um, still love it. Wonder if I might need to get it taken in, which is annoying. It's still got the tags on. It is from Bowdoin and I am loving Bowdoin at the moment. I think they've had some really fresh, new, great designs come through. The sleeves, just a dream, absolute dream. And they are 
well it's all really beautifully embroidered so it's got it all over the sleeve the lovely shoulder detail here and then also at the end of the skirt and it is more of a midi skirt but it is not too midi um, probably about the perfect length for me and it's also got it at the back there the only thing is, is that now it is it's a little bit roomy here which I think is great for the summer it's just whether it looks a bit baggy generally and whether it needs to be taken in a bit um and they might let me exchange it actually i might sort of ask them because i haven't worn it and it's got its tags on but i probably did buy it quite a little while ago but i love this one it makes me you know when you put on a dress and you just feel like you it's been a few dresses like that gingham one when i put it on it just feels like exactly my style and i know bowden do lots of different coloring with things i think they did this one in a different like darker color too and it has pockets, guys. Has pockets. Let me get my way back. Next up, I have some swimsuits and bikinis. So I'm not going to show you these in full, but I'll give you a little impression. I might um, insert some photos. I don't know why I always feel weird showing you a bikini on YouTube. But I struggle with bikinis and also swimsuits. Definitely with like a little bit of a bigger bust and not wanting something too like skimpy, but also something really flattering and lovely. And I've fallen in love with this brand called Scampi. It's not gonna focus on me. Um, but they have this gorgeous, I've got it on now, but this gorgeous bikini, these are the bottoms, and it just reminds me of like a Neapolitan ice cream. It is so soft and it's just a great company because the material is, this project is regenerated nylon that can be cycled infinitely. No waste, no new resources, just endless possibilities. So that's kind of lovely too. And you can really tell that they are made so, so beautifully. They're like a lovely, not too thick material, not something like a scuba material, but at the same time, they're beautifully lined inside and like a, a nice like, thick enough material, if I can even explain that properly. And I love this one, so it's got that kind of like square neckline, the little diagonal stripes all over it. So, so cute. And then you can imagine it as well with the high-waisted bottoms there, same as having the shorts on. I know that I'm gonna probably live in this one. I just think the, the colors are so fun and it feels really soft and really comfy on and also really supportive. Which, if you're like me and you want to go on holiday and you actually want to swim and get in the sea and enjoy, it's important. <laughs> Forgot to also mention one of my favourite things about this one and this top in particular is that if you don't want too many tan lines, these come down really easily so that you can tan and then if you want to get in the pool or water and be jumping around and diving around, support. <laughs> Did I say I picked both of those top and bottom up in a medium? And then this one is a little bit brighter than I usually go for, but I thought it, it was giving that Italian vibe. Um, it's also really comfortable and really supportive. This one is from Bowdoin. It's actually got pads in, which is quite nice. Nice, supportive straps. Ollie and I often, like, I know it sounds silly, but this is how I imagine this outfit. We often like to do a bit of exploring, so maybe like coastal, places um which will more be by lake but jumping in and then getting out potentially on a boat you want to dry off a bit but you might want to just pop some shorts on that kind of thing so i picked up these lovely high-waisted shorts i got these in the size eight and i thought this swimsuit one with it so nicely i love 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 the back of this one and again it's a real like swimmers kind of suit because i um, i love swimming so yeah picked up those two that's kind of most of the new stuff that I got in, apart from actually a pair of trousers, which I'll try on for you later. They're in the wash, because I love them, I wear them all of the time. But I'm heading in now, did I say I was going in for a hair consultation today? So I'm gonna pop in to do that. I might be meeting Ollie for a little lunch or just to say hi. And then I need to get on with one of my bigger jobs today. Or should I say more of a priority? I mean, you saw the rain, but it is supposed to be getting sunny this afternoon. I need to seal in those windows because they are not watertight yet. I'm honestly so thrilled with them, but we still need to put in the lime mortar to make sure that they're watertight. I look kind of dishevelled now. I feel it a little bit too. 
it is way later today went so quickly and it's been the most bizarre day it's like unbelievably beautiful sunshine but i promise you it's the same day and ollie's already home um when i got back from my hair appointment i had some wedding admin to deal with and the hours just went some of it was cute there i was looking at little little kitty shoes which was very sweet um and finally we're so last minute guys but we finally booked in the meal for the night before and we just need to confirm that now and get it on our website so that people know what they're turning up to anyway um because all is now home we are gonna do some diy everything's a bit of a mess just still got this here because we are still doing a few dusty things oh he's changing um <laughs> <laughs> but I think the plan is Ollie is going to make up the lime mix and lime mix lasts for quite a few days doesn't it? Yeah it is. If you put like a wet towel over it. It sets first, the water sets it mm. but it doesn't set it chemically so if you put more water in it you can like mix it back up and then it takes weeks or months to set fully. So you can mix it up. Actually, it's supposed to be better to mix it up and then kind of like leave it a day and then bring it back to life. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so he's going to mix it up and then we're going to try and do it bit by bit, which is brilliant because that's the kind of jobs that we need because we also are having to do a bit of wedding admin every night as well. Didn't get much in town, but I did get these random to try out different hair things. Uh, basically buying them to hold in curls, like mm. these for Hollywood curls. And then I've heard so many people say with the Dyson to try and like set the curls. And I hate using the little bobby pins. I just get too frustrated. So I thought these would be quite quick and easy to do that with. Did also manage to go and pick this one up. Some of you did ask. Um, this is the Lime Water and I got it from Travis Perkins. You have to get it from like more of a builder's merchant rather than places like b and is a little bit more difficult to find and you mix it with sand and then obviously water. Is it two and a half part? I'm not quite sure, Ollie will know. I cannot wait until we can have these doors open because these bay windows bring through such beautiful, beautiful light <laughs> and it's so dark in our hallways because we're trying to keep the dust out. Also, this is this room cleaned a little bit and yeah, we have a dining chair in here right now too. Ollie's just putting a bit a little bit more foam in. I feel like such a child. Ollie's just finished the foam and he's like, so tomorrow your job is <laughs> you go around with a scrapey tool and scrape out the foam. So mm. there's like a little bit of a depth to it. Like okay. A centimeter. Yeah. But be a bit careful though, because some of the foam is quite thin in places. You don't want to pick all the foam out. You just want to like lower the level a bit. Okay. In some places it's really deep, so it won't matter. Um, and then use the pointing trowel, fill the gaps, make it flush with the bricks. Yeah. And if you can, run a little bit into the joints, into the bricks. Okay. You don't have to do it if you want, I can, I can do it when I get home. No. But we know who is the better plasterer out of the two of us. It's me. Definitely you. I don't know how lime reacts to PVC, so maybe also just like make sure you sponge it off quite carefully. Okay. And buy gloves. Got to wear gloves because lime is caustic and it will burn your hands. Yeah, I always forget that. Yeah. You always think the lime's going to be nice, but yeah. No. I mean, lime's, just, lime's never nice. I don't know, like the sound of it. Oh, it's like, like a, it's a you know, natural it's like breathable, material, it's natural, breathable, yeah. yeah you but think, it's like, horrific to your skin. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I think it is time for dinner. We're eating very boring at the moment because we're trying to be good for the wedding. And so I think it will be plain salmon with potatoes and veg. And we did get in touch with our plasterer and we're gonna board it ourselves, aren't we, this one? Yeah. So hopefully that will be done soon. And then I can finally get on with painting the stairs. I don't know if it'll happen before the wedding though. Time is going so quickly. Yeah. Like a little bit insane. Are you hungry? Starving. Yeah, you're acting like you're hungry. <laughs> so hungry. I keep thinking I haven't had lunch, but I have. I was with him at lunch, so he often <laughs> does this. He often forgets that he has lunch. Um, right. 
I might get into my pyjamas then. Yeah, go for it. I've got to go down to the shed to find some sand. I'm just mixing. And I'll leave it in a bucket. Yeah. With the script, will you get all the tools too? Yes. Because I'll use the wrong ones and then he'll complain. I think they're all up there actually. I'm having to balance you kind of awkwardly up there. But I was going to say, we're not um, being good with food for the wedding to lose weight. In fact, I kind of shouldn't be losing weight for the wedding because my dress has been altered. So if I lose any weight, it won't fit me. So that won't be great. But my tummy just all of a sudden started playing up. It was really not happy. Um, bloated, gargling, not happy. So we've been on the kind of like low FODMAP diet to cut and get everything out to see if I am intolerant to anything, which honestly would probably kill me because I've made it to now with eating whatever I want whenever I want. And part of me can't believe that I can just become intolerant to something just like that. So I'm hoping it's just because life has been a bit manic recently. And actually, since we've been eating some really plain, very plain, very boring, very, very boring food. Oops, I have been feeling better, so I'm hoping it's going to kind of be like a bit of a reset. I can't believe I'm signing off this video looking like this, but I put the lime on the outside of the window and it was actually more difficult than I was expecting. Just positioning, putting myself out the window and trying to get it in the right gaps. And it was quite sunny today and I'm not allowed to get my brows in the sun or get them wet. Obviously definitely didn't want to get lime in them. So I, had, I put on some really big sunglasses in the end but it's still got a little bit on my face. So this isn't lime plaster all over me. This is a face mask, <laughs> a deep purifying face mask in hope that I didn't get much of it on my face. But hopefully, at least with this one, we are now watertight. It took me a lot longer than I expected. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's four o'clock now. <laughs> um, I did take a break in between to have lunch, but yeah took me took me the majority of the day so I think I'm gonna sign this one off here I need to just shower clean myself up a bit and then I think I might start looking at my vows tonight how long did it take you to do your vows is it something you can do last minute should I have been thinking about it way earlier on any advice for writing them I don't think we're gonna do anything too cheesy or too personal but it's still something nice so yeah I need to think about that we also need to pick some songs any great songs for any part of the wedding i think we have chosen and actually i i will take you to it i think but we are going to a dance class we've chosen our first dance song which is very different but i actually think it's a really nice song we didn't have a song that meant something to us so we've chosen a new song all of the songs from when we got together are like nightclub songs from university not really like the cute sentimental ones so we chose something a bit different it's got like a little bit of like a house related theme in it and i just hope it goes well but it's not necessarily something ollie and i can't dance anyway so we are going 
for a little class locally and I'm really excited. Not, we're not gonna do anything choreographed, like major, obviously it's such a small wedding and totally not us, but we just don't wanna get onto the dance floor and be embarrassing. We just want to say to her, what moves can we do with this song? And then we'll like freestyle it. Anyway, yeah, uh, I might take you along. That's coming up in the next few weeks. Well, actually maybe next week. Yeah, I think it's next week, gosh. And then I've also been designing the menus and I need to do the order of services. Any little last minute advice for the weddings? Anything that we should include? Anything that's really nice for the ceremony? Let me know because this is, this is, this is like the lead up now. And videos over the next few weeks are just gonna be a little bit more relaxed. I know this one was quite chatty, but I think the majority of my videos now are gonna be a little bit more like this. They're much easier to edit and I think it's just nice to be able to look back a little bit on the thing before the wedding. Actually, I got another delivery today. I'll show you some shoes for the night before. My absolute favorite Castana wedges. I didn't know, I think it's really lovely. They actually have a bit of gold in them, which I couldn't see on the website. But they are a lovely satin and I think it'll be perfect. Comfort is key, but I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a lovely weekend and week. Bye.